In this problem, I'm going to show you how to calculate nominal and real GDP as long as, as well as the percent change in all of those. So I've got three products. I've got tennis balls, tennis rackets, tennis nets. We've got four time periods. Uh, so we need to calculate everything. I'm in Microsoft Excel, but you could use Google Sheets, do pretty much the same thing. So uh, what I think is a little bit easier is first let's get, let's make a column for spending. Okay. Uh, because a nominal GDP is just, it's just the current prices. So it's going to be current prices and then with um, real GDP we're going to use base year prices okay so for nominal current year prices and for real base year prices we'll, we'll specify the different base year prices as we go but let's do the nominal first okay so the nominal we're just going to multiply price times quantity okay and that's uh, that's 80 that makes sense that'll be 200 we'll just copy the formula just grab that little plus sign and copy it down okay we're gonna write another formula here i'm hitting e equal sign this times this the multiplication is a little asterisk and then we're going to multiply or copy that formula all the way down and then just do this one that work h i'm just checking h3 times i3 there we go okay and now if i want nominal gdp i'm just going to go nominal i'm just going to add all just add the spending values so we're going to go this plus i see i click on the wrong one so that spending plus that spending plus that spending and we got it and there's our nominal our four nominal gdps and then if we want the percent change that formula is well, we won't have one for the first one but it's so we're going to go equals it's this minus this so it's new minus old over old so put the put that guy in parentheses, and then divide it by old. Okay, and then this is a percent, so we can actually just tell it it's a percent. If you want it to be like fraction type thing, you can do that. Okay, this isn't really that helpful because the price has changed, um, but it does in case you were asked for that. Okay, so real GDP. Um, so now we want uh, to do kind of a different table here. So we want to do, uh, let's do real GDP, base year is, let's say it's 2009. Okay. So what we're going to do in this case is we're just going to use 2009 prices. Okay. And then we would say 2010, 2011, 2012 is our last year. Okay. So we're going to take this and we're going to, and it's actually the same number because we're going to use 2009 prices uh, times 2009 quantities, which we already did. So let's, let's do it like this. Let's go this times this plus this times this oh those shouldn't be quantities that's not good i'm sorry those those are quantities those shouldn't be in dollar signs and then this times this and that should give us 1080 and it does okay these quantities are not dollar signs so let's go into format cells they're just numbers and we can copy that right here copy that right here okay and this is a dollar okay now i'm going 
going to do the same thing, except in the formula, I want to lock this price. Okay, So I'm going to hit F4 on my keyboard, and that puts dollar signs in front of it. Okay, uh, And then right there, E20 puts dollar signs in front of there. If you don't have the F4 key, you can just put dollar signs in front of each uh, letter and number there. Okay, gives you the same number. I'm just going to copy this down, and it should give me the same number. Okay, so let's see if we can zoom in a little bit here. So that's that formula. So I've got the old prices times the new quantities. Okay, that's right. And then it's this one old prices times the new quantity. And then old prices times the new quantity. Okay. Now, if I want to do same thing, but with base year 2010, certainly can do that. So this would be 2009. Okay. So what we're going to do. Let's write a very similar formula. Copy that formula over here. Okay, so this is all messed up. Right? So now I want the formula. You can actually just drag these down. Oops. Drag that one down there. Uh oh. I see. What you need to do is, oh, because it's in the, so we're looking for H, what's happening here, we don't need that one, we just need, you can actually just change it, the one that's four, watch, I'm going to change it just like this, so instead of E, so that was E, and then instead of H, I want. But I don't want H3, I want H4. Okay, so this is the number we need to change. I don't need that cell. So the one I, I don't like is K. So where are we multiplying K? Okay, so we need to redo our formula just a little bit. In fact, you know what? I'm going to scrap the whole thing. Let's just redo it. We're going to go. Okay, so we want 2010 price times 2009 quantities plus 2010 price times 2009 quantities plus 2010 price times 2010 quantities. Okay, and then I want to lock in the price cells. So I'm just going to go on those guys. Copy that all the way down. Just check, make sure. And 2010 should be the same as its nominal GDP. The real and nominal will always be the same when you're at the base year. So I can keep doing this. I just need to write a, another formula. If I use, that was base year 2010. If I use base year 2011, what do I need here? Then I need to do, okay, I'm going to use 2011 prices, this times this plus this times this plus this times this. I'm going to lock in those cells. And then we'll just... I'd probably put that up there. And then this is all of these years. And just copy that guy down. And then just to check it, three thousand four hundred and sixty, three thousand four hundred and sixty. Okay, so if I want the bait, if I want the um to know the percent change in the real GDP, I'm just going to go this minus this. Oops. 
sorry, messed up there. So put that in parentheses, divided by the old value. And these are percents. So tell Excel that they're percents. And that's how to do it. I could do that over there too if I want to. And then if I want the, the GDP deflator, then what that is, is the nominal, we'll just say nominal, divided by real times 100. Okay, so in this case, uh, if we're using 2009, it's important what, uh, what base year you use, but we'll go 2009. So with this one, we're just going to take uh, 2009 nominal GDP, divide by 2009 real GDP. Those are the same number, so this is going to equal 100. So that's 100. This is not a monetary value, though. It's, a, it's like a ratio. Okay. So copy this down. Let's see what kind of formula this gives us. So this was 2010, uh, yep, 2010 nominal divided by 2010 uh, real. Just checking these works. Checking these, that works too. And so what you can do then is, is see the percent change in the, um, in the deflator. That's another way of looking at inflation okay so so it's or the change in the price level so this one we know it's 29 but we can still have it calculate it okay it's 29 just copy that down right there and see we're getting different numbers this is the percent change in the real GDP itself this is the percent change in in the um, in the deflator, so this is this is this economy has rather high uh, inflation rates, right? Anything anything above three percent is pretty pretty high. So twenty nine percent is really bad. Uh, but that's if we use two thousand nine as the as the base year. If you use a different base year, you're going to get different values. So that's kind of an important thing to think about when calculating inflation. So if you had a different base year, just use the different base year uh, for all of your calculations. But that's how to calculate nominal, real, GDP deflator, and the percent change in all of those values.